everyone. Today I'm going to compare two of my soy makers, the Soya Joy brand and the Mio Mat. Somebody requested for me to make a video of the pros and cons of the Soya Joy and the Mio Mat. Can you tell the difference? Size wise or capacity wise, there's not much difference. But I'm going to make soy milk using these two so you know the pros and cons and the difference. And I'm going to tell you which one is my preferred gadget. This is the Soy Joy and this is the Mio Mat. But they're both useful. Mio Mat, it is nice design, flowers, and the Soy Joy G5 is pretty simple. So today I'm going to make soy milk using these two soy makers. And I'm going to tell you the pros and cons, the advantages and the disadvantages of the Soy Joy G5 and the pros and cons of the Mio Mat. And the reason also why I like them both and which one I would prefer to have if I only had to choose one between the G G5, the Soy Joy, and the Mio Mat. And for cost, cost wise. Okay, let's start making soy milk. So to start, or before I start making soy milk, I would like to make a comparison between the two. So this is the Soy Joy G5. This is not our first Soy Joy soy maker, okay? I think this is our third model that we've had. This is the recent one. Uh, and this is the Mio Mat. The capacity of Soy Joy, the minimum capacity of Soy Joy is 1300 milliliter. And the maximum capacity of the liquid is 1600. So 1,300 milliliter up to 1,600 milliliter. That's the capacity. And the heating power is 1,000 watts and the motor power is 200 watts. So, and for the Mio Mat, the Mio Mat's heating power is 750 watts and the motor power is 200 watts. So it's smaller compared to the Soya Joy G5. And the capacity, the liquid capacity, the minimum is 1,100 milliliters and the maximum is 1,300 milliliters. So obviously the capacity of Mio Mat is a little bit smaller than the Soya Joy. They have very similar code. This is for the Mio Mat. This is for the Soya Joy. To compare, as you can see, from the outside, it does not look much difference. But obviously the Mio Mat, it has more of a tapered from the bottom up. It tapers a little bit. But the Soya Joy is pretty much the same. Hence the difference of liquid capacity. And the interface here, as you can see, it's pretty simple. The Mio Mat has simple control. Select, uh, start up. You can use raw milk, cereal, cereal milk, soy milk, smoothie. You can make cream, creamy soup. You can make chunky soup, porridge, and you can also do cleaning. There's also cleaning uh, process if you want to clean it. And for Soya Joy, it has a screen here. This one here will, will light up upgrade on the soya joy you will see the screen here it's it will turn red so it has a power button obviously the reheat and the control is an update to the soy joy g4 so you can see you can also do soak soak beans you can automatically click the soak beans there's grains you can do whatever you want so there's the control chunky soup you can also do pureed soup dried beans you don't even have to soak it then you can do soy milk without soaking it so there's raw milk hot cocoa and there's a timer you can see the timer here and you want to reheat it then there's a start and cancel button select is that's when you select and anyway this is a more of a nice feature and here it says the same thing do not rinse or submerge this unit in the water especially the top part here same with uh the mio mat it says do not put the head of the machine under water so it's more of like you just have to wipe it when you clean it can you tell the difference the color is a little creamy and Mio Mat Soy Joy G5 is pure white. So now let's open, let's pull this one here. This is what it looks like for Soy Joy G5. It has this, the blades and the cup here, it's attached. So when you turn the power on, it will just turn. And this is where it sits right here on the socket. And you can see the first and the last line. The first line at the bottom is 1300 milliliters. And the top one is the maximum 1600, milli, 1600 milliliters. So that, that's it. The Mio Mat. Let's see. The Mio Mat, it has a separate cup. This one here. It's a, an attachment. And it has blades also. And you have to put it right here to, to lock it. So this can be, this is easy for easy cleaning. Whereas for the Soya Joy, the cleaning can be a little challenging. You have to use a brush to make sure that you clean this uh, this part here really well so that it's not stained. But here you can clean it and it comes off pretty easy. Actually, the Soya Joy G4, no, the Soya Joy G3 has similar feature to this. The, the cup is separate and you just have to attach it. There you go. This is the measuring cup. The Soya Joy 
and Miomat. It's about the same. Uh, it, it fills one half cup of soybeans. This is for the Miomat and this is for the Soyjoy G5. It's about half a cup of soybeans. So first off, you have to soak the soybeans. Here's the soybeans. These have been rinsed. I already soaked these and rinsed. So this is what I'm going to do. Put it here. Go and then we fill it with water up to the maximum capacity. There you go. Maximum capacity after you put the soybeans. Put the water up to the maximum capacity just on the line right there. Now it's time to put this. Make sure that it sits properly and also here. Same with this and now it's time to plug it. It's plugged in. I plugged in the Soy Joy G5 and this is what it shows. You can see the screen, it's blinking red. All I need to do is touch the soap beans. It says 36 minutes. The process is 36 minutes. So we'll have to wait for 36 minutes. When it's finished, you will hear the beep beep. The beep beep sound. Now I will plug in the Mio mat. It also made that sound, the beep sound. And to start, you have to select raw milk, cereal, soy milk. I will choose soy milk. Okay, and then start. I made the doot doot. Let the process begin. You can hear it. It's heating the water. I'll just have to wait. Which soy milk finish first? Either the Soy Joy or the Mio Mat. This is making the grinding sound. This one here, the Mio Mat is... That's the sound of the Soy Joy grinding it. For Mio Mat, right now, it's still in the heating stage. So the sound is more muted or more quiet. That's the sound of the Mio mat when it's grinding the soybeans. The loudness uh, of these uh, soy makers, they are about the same. The Mio Mat is a little bit quieter than Soya Joy. Soya Joy says there's nine minutes left. It says one minute. It's the Mio Mat. The Mio Mat is finished first. It makes that beep beep sound. I thought it was the Soya Joy. Meanwhile, the Soya Joy says one more minute left. Now, the Soya Joy makes the beep beep. They do it. It says end. So they finish about the same time. Interesting, huh? Okay, moment of truth. They finish about the same time, 35 minutes, 36 minutes. So that's pretty close. Now, when you're finished with this, you, you have to do, ideally, according to the manual, for you to be able to drain out the soy, soy milk, it's best to let it sit for a few minutes so that the silt will settle at the bottom. That's what the Mio mat suggests, which to me, it makes sense because if you do let it sit for a little bit, for at least five, 10 minutes, and it will stay warm, it still be okay, and the silt will settle at the bottom. So it's easier for draining the soy milk. Soy joy, meanwhile, you can do the same thing, but it did not specifically say that, that I could remember in their manual, but you can do the same thing, obviously, because they're both soy maker, soy milk maker. So yeah, I would recommend that if you both, uh, if you use soy joy or soy milk, it's better to let the soy milk sit for at least 10 minutes before you drain it out, so that it's easier for draining or straining the pulp. Soya Joy 
has its own strainer and interestingly enough they are the same this is the Mio Matte. see i label it Mio Matte mm <laughs> this is the Mio Matte. this is the soya joy g5 they have the same strainer so i won't be surprised if they have the same manufacturer for the strainer so anyway this will be for this soy joy i can let it sit here we have a the picture did not come in the package okay this is our separate picture this is our separate this is our picture the only uh item that came with the package is the strainer okay so i will wait for seven to ten minutes before i strain out the pulp so it's been 10 minutes now i have to unplug it first you have to unplug I have to unplug Now, here's one thing, it may not be a big deal really, but to me it is. When I pour, it does not drip because the way it is designed here, it's like a little lip. So when I open it like this, this is what it looks like. Now I have to put it in the sink first. So watch closely as I pour this. It doesn't have a lot of dripping. It doesn't drip. That's the nice thing about Mio Mat. And the soybean pulp is very fine. It's very fine. It blends it really well. There's no mess. There's no dripping on the countertop. And try that. It's very easy. And let it sit. Let it drain. That's it. This is how much it has. For the Mio mat. Now, let's put the Mio mat aside. Let it drain. Now, let's do the Soya Joy. Okay. Now, for the Soya Joy G5, I want you to look at it closely as I pour the content, the soy milk, into the pitcher. That's the soy milk here. Let, let me just put this briefly in the sink. There you go. There's nothing, nothing here. Okay, watch as I pour this. Oops, I'm trying to be slow, okay? When I pour the... You almost need to... With this, you really need to have like a spatula to catch. Because there is not much lip to catch. So there's so milk wasted. Unlike the Mio Mat, this one here, look at that. It's it's that slanted, but this is not enough. Instead, the milk just slides right down. So it's not catching really. With the Mio Mat, it has the lip that stops it. It stops the liquid from going down. This one here, there's nothing that would stop other than this one here, little spout thing. But yeah, and it's on the countertop. That's the difference. The Soya Joy G5, that's the downside because when I pour it, it makes a mess on my countertop. <laughs> I don't know if it's a big deal to you. It doesn't have much of a lip that would prevent liquid from rolling or from dripping down here. So therefore, this mess, you can see here. But with uh, Mio Mat, it didn't have this mess. The Mio Mat has this stopper here. It's not big, but it makes a big difference the way it's designed compared to the Soya Joy G5. The spout makes a difference. Anyway, uh, it may not be a big deal to you, but to me, it's a little bit of a downside for the Soya Joy G5 that you have to be careful when you pour. Otherwise, you'll have a lot of mess on your countertop. And also, as you can see here, the difference of the pulp. There's more pulp for the Soya Joy G5. There's pulp and there's less pulp on the Mio Mat because the Mio Mat it grinds the soybeans really well it grinds the soybeans fine really fine so therefore you'll get most of your soybeans it makes the difference in flavor you see the difference let me make it into yeah let me just make it into rounds so you can actually see it better right here just so it's all on the side yeah, you can see the you can see the difference. It's more full, you see? This is the Soy Joy G5 soy pulp. This is from the Mio Mat. The Mio Mat does not have a lot of soy pulp remaining, but the Soy Joy G5 it has more pulp.
if that is an important thing to you, then you go for uh, Mio Mat. If you want more flavor in your soy milk, then you go for Mio Mat. But if it doesn't matter to you, then it doesn't matter to you. But I'm just comparing. So obviously, Mio Mat grinds the soybeans really well and makes it into a fine texture. I did put the same amount of soybeans. There's only a little bit of water capacity for the Mio Mat compared to the Soya Joy G5. But I did put the same amount of soybeans. But it does make a difference if you have more beans that goes into the liquid, it mixes into the liquid. It means that your soy milk will be creamier compared to the soy milk that does not have all the beans ground up really fine. But to me, uh, it's it's about the same. But again, if it matters to you, if flavor matters to you, if you don't want to waste a lot of your soybeans, because as you can see here, there's more waste on the soybean pulp here compared to the Mio Mat, okay? Even though uh, on the Mio Mat, there was a little bit of liquid that I put in the pitcher. There's more liquid that I put in the Soya Joy G5. But yeah, that goes to show. Flavor-wise, I'd say Mio Mat has more flavor when it comes to soy milk because it's creamier, okay? It has more, it has more flavor because it grinds the soybeans really fine really well compared to the soy joy it has more pulp the texture is more fine compared to the soy joy g5 here the miyu mat the soybean pulp is a lot smoother it's very fine compared to compared to the soy joy g5 soy pulp i can definitely tell the difference the pulp is more smooth the texture of the soy joy g5 it's crumbly and it's more coarse. Anyway, there's your comparison. So this is the soy milk made by Mio Mat. This is the soy milk made by the Soya Joy machine. There's a little bit difference. Obviously, Mio Mat has less and Soya Joy has more because the capacity of the pitcher is more. The maximum is bigger. The, the pitcher itself is bigger than the Mio Mat. For flavor, there's more flavor on the soy milk that's made with Mio Mat. There's less flavor on the soy milk made from Soy Joy. I put sugar and vanilla and a little bit of salt. Yeah, the Miu Mat made soy milk taste better. It's more creamy. So, soy milk making is done. Here is the conclusion, my conclusion based on... Uh, our usage, okay? Soya Joy G5 or Mio Mat? This is the soy milk from Soya Joy G5 and this is the soy milk from Mio Mat. There is more soy milk from Soya Joy and there's a, just a little bit less than the Soya Joy G5. My suggestion is that if you have a big family, you go for Soya Joy G5, which is a little bigger than Mio Mat. But if you have a small family, a family of three or a family of four, Mio Mat is a good one. And it's easy to clean as well. This is fairly easy to clean too. Soy joy is fairly easy to clean. For you to clean the Mio Mat, you have to unscrew this and screw it back on, which is not really a big deal. It's actually easier to, to brush and clean. For cleaning the Soy joy, this is a one piece, okay? So you have to make sure that you get all the, the gunk and clean it well with a brush. Again, if you have a big family, go for Soy joy. If you have a small family, go for Mio Mat. They both make soy milk, okay? They both make soy milk. The way Mio Mat makes the soy milk, it grinds most of the pulp, so therefore Mio Mat has more flavor. It smells better than the soy milk that's made from Soya Joy, okay? Price-wise, Soya Joy is cheaper. Mio Mat's a little more expensive. Mio Mat it has a little capacity, but if your family is small, it's okay. Soya Joy has a bigger capacity, not much compared to, uh, not by much, not by a lot. But if your family is bigger, maybe half a cup makes a difference. So anyway, the choice is yours. For my family, I truly use the, G the Soya Joy because we have a big family. And sometimes I use both. This has become my spare. Uh, I use Miu Mat and Soya Joy. We got this first before we got the Miu Mat. And I, I honestly want to... Keep using this because it does not make a lot of mess, okay? So I recommend for you to try out Mio Mat. And if you want the bigger capacity, go for the Soya Joy. In the description below, the description in this video, I will attach the affiliate link if you want to try to buy this Mio Mat. If you want to use the Mio Mat. And I will also put a, a link for you to get the Soya Joy, okay? But this one, I like the design. It's cute. 
it's cute and it's easy to clean honestly we use both we use both and if you don't want to use if you don't want to spend money you can you can make your own soy milk manually but why take the time to do it if we can still use machines like this so buy a Mio mat or buy a soy joy if you want a more flavorful soy milk go for Mio mat if you want a bigger capacity you go for soy joy if you want a less messy pouring and for cleaning uh, convenience go for Mio mat for soy joy it's up to you <laughs> i hope you like this video uh, comparing Mio Mat and Soya Joy. Again, don't forget the, to check the description of this video if you want to acquire these soy milk making machine. Thanks for watching!